Now let's go on with calculate the mass of chaff, m sub chaff. That's going to be the mass of the large kitchen bowl and chaff, which is right here. Here, 1059.4 for me, minus the mass of the large kitchen bowl, 1058.9. So, 1059.4 grams minus 1058.9 grams. And I got, I can do this in my head, 0 0.5 grams. That's a tiny, and well, let's say this 0 0.5 grams compared to either 71 or 84.4 that we started with is a pretty small amount. It's not zero, but it's pretty small. Mass of chaff, oh, I forgot to write down my density, 0 0.711 grams per milliliter, and 0 0.5 grams. Now, let's get back to the mass of my roasted coffee beans. Mass of my roasted coffee beans is going to be mass of the 250 milliliter beaker with the beans minus the beaker itself. Let's show the data for that. I've got mass of beaker with beans minus mass of beaker, so 95.4 minus 24.7, 70.7. And for comparison purposes, you can see that my mass of roasted coffee beans is 70.7, and my green coffee beans are 84.4. So that's a significant change in mass. Good. Mass of gas given off during the roasting process using a mass balance. Woohoo! Our mass balance. M gas. So we don't know this. But we do know the mass of our chaff, it's 0 0.5 grams. We do know the mass of our roasted beans, it is, oh, let's look at the right sheet here, uh, 70.7 grams. And the mass of our green beans is 84.4 grams. So the only thing we don't know is M gas. To solve for M gas, and we can go ahead and zoom in here on this, is, uh, so subtract, so take the 84.4, subtract off the 70.7 from both sides, subtract off the 0.5 from both sides. So that amounts to 84.4 minus 70.7 minus 0.5, and I get 13.2 grams of gases that have been made due to reaction during the roasting process. Oh. Mass of gas, 13.2 grams. That's significant. We've lost significant mass during this process. Now let's see what we got next. Calculate the density of the roasted coffee beans. I'm going to allow you to try that. That's number seven. Uh, but please let me know if you have any questions. It's similar to the density of our green coffee beans except for roasted. Now calculate the total volume of the green coffee beans. That's going to be uh, what we know. V green is what we're solving for. We know the mass at the start and we know the density of our green beans. Uh, that's going to be mass at the start was 84.4 grams. Right, that's our mass start. Oop. Mass start. We know the density of our green beans at 0 0.711 grams per milliliter. There we go. And then it turns out that our grams and our grams cancel out. Our milliliters, which are in the denominator, of the denominator here will come up on top and our final units are milliliters, which is what we expect for volume. 
Let's go ahead and multiply this out. We've got 84.4 divided by 0.711, 118.7, which will be 119 milliliters.